Retaining steering wheel control for an aftermarket stereo is one of the most common questions we get. So here's how you do it. First things first, make sure your steering wheel actually has command buttons and the stereo you purchased has a steering wheel control input or compatibility. You'd be surprised people. Then what you'll need next is a steering wheel control interface which is sold separately. When you buy a new stereo, it may have a steering wheel control input but doesn't include the interface to make this work. The new stereo comes with a typical wiring harness for power, ground, speakers, illumination, dimmer, etc. But in order to get steering wheel control transferred, you need an interface. And Access is the king of interfaces. And their most commonly used interface is the Access ASWC1, which works with a very large majority of vehicles and aftermarket stereos. The ASWC1 comes with an interface box, 12 pin harness with 3.5 millimeter connector, and a female 3.5 millimeter connector. The interface is universal, so it has multiple inputs and capabilities. For this reason, the harness contains a 12 pin harness, but the majority of you will only use just a few wires on it based on the specificity of your vehicle. We'll talk more about that later on. Most aftermarket stereos have a 3.5 millimeter jack for steering wheel control. So that connection with the interface is straightforward. You would plug the 3.5 millimeter connector into the jack of the back of your new stereo. Next, you'll have to connect the red to accessory and black to ground. This will provide power to the interface. In order to control your new radio, you'll have to tap a specific pin or series of pins on the vehicle's harness with specific wires from the 12 pin ASWC harness. To find out which wires to tap for your vehicle, just go to accessinterfaces.com, enter your make, model, and year, and the site will provide the pins that you need to tap and which wires from the ASWC interface harness you need to use. For example, it may say tap pin 18 on the vehicle harness with the green and white wire from the ASWC. Newsflash, not all radios have a 3.5 millimeter steering wheel control input. Instead, they have a steering wheel control input on their harness, common with Metra, Power Acoustic, Soundstream, Kenwood, Mitsubishi Eclipse, and JVC Stereos. This is where that little brown harness comes into play. The 3.5 millimeter to two wire adapter. So you will follow all of the same procedures as before, except you'll use the brown female connector to plug into the ASWC's 3.5 millimeter connector. Then connect the brown wires to either the JVC Kenwood blue and yellow steering wheel control wire in the harness, to the steering wheel control wires on the Mitsubishi Eclipse, or steering wheel control key one wire on the power acoustic, Soundstream, and Metra OE radios. Instructions for all of these scenarios and more are on accessinterfaces.com. Once wired up, the ASWC1 will auto detect with three possible required actions. Turn the ignition key and no action is required. Turn the ignition key and press and hold up the volume button on the steering wheel, or turn the ignition key and then tap the volume up repeatedly on the steering wheel. Again, all of these instructions are vehicle dependent and radio dependent, and accessinterfaces.com covers all these scenarios for your vehicle. Access has made life even easier for some vehicles. They offer pre-wired interface harnesses that are a simple plug and play and don't require tapping of any wires. For example, a 2015 Toyota Corolla has the optional AX Toy 28 SWC, which will use the interface box from the ASWC1, and the new harness replaces the 12 pin harness that comes with the ASWC1. And to retain steering wheel control, you aren't limited to just the Access ASWC1 controller. Pack Audio has the SWIRC, and iDaddling Maestro offers the ADS MSW universal interface. These interfaces are very similar to the ASWC1 and are great alternatives. You can jump on either of these two manufacturers' websites to check the compatibility with your vehicle and radio. You will utilize similar wiring procedures, but in the case of the iDatalink ADS MSW, you have to connect the interface to your computer with the included USB and program it for your specific vehicle. The PAC Audio SWIRC is a self programming device that recognizes your radio and vehicle after setting the side mounted rotary switch. Both manufacturers provide excellent vehicle specific installation guides and tips on their websites. If you need help figuring out what interfaces and harnesses you need for your car and stereo, 
give us a call and we'll help you purchase what you need. Or head on over to our website at qualitymobilevideo.com. We carry all access, eye dialing, and pack audio products. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you hated it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and browse all of our new and old videos. Thanks for watching.